Sister? Hmm? Remember what you told me earlier today? About how intoners are charged up sexually? Is that true? Yes. Is it true for you? Yes. So do you need me to? No. Why not? Why not? Because aren't allowed to We need permission just to love? It's not happening, okay? You'd have to be some kind of crazed maniac to do that. But then, how will you satisfy your needs? I'm creative. I'll figure something out. You're creative? Just go to bed. I just want to do what I can to help. First, you abandon me to take care of some business. Then you make me come all the way back to you. And now you're gonna become a pair of sisters? I'm the only sister. Huh? He's male. Oh. You know, I knew you had weird powers, but... Oh well, whatever floats your boat. It's your life, after all. Where are we off to next, sister? I'm going to the Land of Sands with Gabriella. You're going to the Cathedral City. But, but I want to stay with you. No. You need to go cool off a bit. Very well. After rendezvousing with Gabriella, I headed out for the monster-infested desert. I seem to remember you telling me you didn't need a disciple. That I did. And didn't you say you needed more power to defeat these lords? That I did. So, instead of getting a disciple, you made a brother? That I did. Girl, you are crazy. I'm just saying. Just be quiet and fight. You're distracting me. A dragon? It's a dragon! You've got to be kidding me! Giving up? No! We can hold out a while longer! Good. Surrendering will just get us killed anyway. I'm hurt! Get a medic over here! Medic! Where's the 4th Squadron's medic? Forward! Don't look back! Bye, sir! Full speed ahead! Dragon! Dragon! Shit! We're gonna die! Calm down! Captain, are you alright? A human fighting with a dragon? How? What evil is at work here? It's in the sky! We can't escape! Archers, open fire! Ha! Away with you! Uh-oh, someone's making her angry face again. That'll give you wrinkles, you know. I don't care. This is how I always look. That's not true. When you smile, it's much more... No, please, continue. What's my smile like? Never mind that. You're ugly. Ugly! A total ugmo. Eat don't this. falter! Oh, but we're fighting a dragon! Eat in sight! In sight! Check your escape route! Keep your head down, or it's gonna see you! Ha! Boring. You know, I remember when you used to laugh and stuff. I knew nothing back then. I miss it, you know. I'll bet you still like that somewhere deep down. Away with you! Away with you! Maybe all you sisters really do need men around, hmm? Think whatever you like. You pretend to be all grown up and mature. But you haven't changed since childhood. 
We all need some kind of mental support, you know? Even intoners. Heck, you probably needed more than the rest of us. I suppose there's some truth to that. Eat this! Perhaps we're weaker than we'd like to admit. Oh, come on! You're supposed to get all mad and yell at stuff. I don't like this offensive you. Quit messing with my head! Still, now you have a brother and a dragon. That's quite the little partnership going on. Yes, although I wouldn't call you a partner. Well, no, I guess not. I mean... You're... you're a friend. Your friend? Oh, come on. You think I want to hear that? And if I really was looking for a partner, I'd prefer to stick to my own species. That's not what I meant. Get us more golems! Now! Ha! This is some kind of divine punishment! It's gonna eat me! How can this actually be happening? We're fighting a dragon! I can't believe this! Watch out! It's gonna vaporize you! Heads down! Forward! Forward! All units, focus on backing up our anti-air attack. Don't bunch up. Spread out! How the hell did she tame a dragon? Who is she? So you really want to kill Zero that bad, hmm? Of course. Why else do you think I'd be doing all this field- Field training, right? <laughs> How stupid and ineffective. Not to mention totally old-fashioned. Be quiet. No, listen up for a change. I happen to have a piece of info you'll be very interested in. Oh? Yes. See, there's a wood called the Forest of Trials over in the land of forests. I hear it's the perfect little spot to build up your body and your soul. Sounds like a hoax. Could be. Still, I suppose I am a bit curious. All right, let's pay a visit to this forest of trials. Lacking a disciple to call her own, the intoner used one of her own ribs to fashion herself a brother. The two of them made up for what each other lacked, and they grew up together within the cathedral. And beneath the light of the moon, the dragon quietly watched over them. I wonder if even we truly know what it is we desire. There's some kind of power preventing me from entering the forest. How clever. So be it. You wait here, Gabriella. What? Wait! You're going in there by yourselves? There's no need to worry, Gabriella. I can keep my sister safe. Oh, I'm not worried, pal. Especially not about you. We'll try to go as far <laughs> in as we can. <sighs> Just be careful.
This is it? The Forest of Trials? It looks normal enough to me. Zero! How lucky. Meeting Zero so soon, I mean. Yes. Too lucky, in fact. Huh? Look closer. This is a fake. Damn! Why is there a fake Zero here? I don't know. Perhaps there's some magic here that reads our minds and brings our thoughts into being. One thing's for sure. If we can't beat the fake, we'll never defeat the real thing. It seems this really is a forest of trials. There's too many of them. It's like a big festival of zeros. I don't really see the point to this. I'm not even scared of them anymore. Good. I'm glad you're no longer scared of zero. Let's get moving. Sister! What? Was that all just a dream? If not for one, I wouldn't have survived the Forest of Trials. Yeah, I know. That's the fourth time you told me. I sure wasn't expecting all those zeros in one place. Let me guess. You were ready to piss yourself at first, but watching your sister slice through them like butter gave you the courage to nut up and fight. Sound about right? Wow, Gabriella. How did you know all of that? Because you've told me four times! Can't you yell at him or hit him or something? He won't shut up. I think it's time for you to get some rest. Yes, I suppose I am a little tired. Perhaps we should hit the hay, sister. So I assume the Forest of Trials was an illusion conjured up by some sorcerer or other? Yes. But you didn't see a sorcerer, did you? No. Probably cursed to death by his own creation or the like. Hmm. And it whipped up an entire army of zeros for you, huh? You must really hate that girl, don't you? They were weak. All of them. Just a bunch of flimsy knockoffs. The real Zero was nothing like that at all. She's strong. Much stronger than I could ever hope to... Oh, come on. How about giving you and that brother of yours some credit for a change? Sure, you're not the strongest in the world or anything, but you're getting better. Both of you are. Honestly, I thought you were going to bite the big one back in that forest. I feared much the same outcome, but I managed to survive, and it was because of him. Looks like someone's not so alone anymore. I just hope we can have more little moments like today. Meaning what? Meaning, 
If my brother and I work harder, that will take some of the burden away from you, Gabriella. Burden? You burdening me? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. But you... You think we dragons get all worked up because of what some girl asks us to do? I'll decide whether it's a burden or not. Got it? And I'll also decide how long I hang around with you guys. I'm the boss of my own fate. Always have been, always will be. I don't need some human holding anything back on my account. Thanks, Gabriella. Shut your pie hole. You really must be tired if you're spouting crap like that. Get some sleep already. After the battle, the exhausted siblings fell fast asleep. Feeling their weight upon her, the dragon reflected. This human is clever. She'll soon uncover the mistake this world made. Though the dragon considered the pair to be a right royal pain, she didn't attempt to disturb their slumber. She let them remain just as they were all throughout the long, long night. <laughs>